Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we got the Civivi Drifter 2. Now, this knife comes in multiple different options, lots of different uh, versions of this. There's even the Drifter 1, which was a slip joint version, so a non-locking version. Well, this is the Drifter 2, so it's a liner lock. Now, it is an S35 VN blade steel, but they also have a Damascus version. Now, their Damascus is like a 9CR powdered steel Damascus, which is really, really good. So, like Damasteel, right? Damasteel is a powdered steel Damascus, which makes it where when they make it it comes out in one one bar of steel so when they grind it or do anything with it it's basically one bar of steel with a bunch of powdered steels melted together normal damascus is um a bunch of steels heated up and like beat together or you know just you know formed together so this is done a lot like damasteel well when it's the damascus version a lot like damasteel so comes out in one billet so their damascus is actually really really good i have some of it and it has incredible edge retention it's a really good steel this one's s35 vn blade steel though and then i have the carbon fiber and snakeskin micarta now they have other versions available like i said now the snakeskin micarta has like these um I'm trying to catch it in the right light. These little fibers in it, they're actually really cool. It almost looks like it's cross cut. Maybe this is the cross cut section. I'm imagining this is that, that section just because of the way it looks. You can see like the fibers running through it. Really nice looking, okay? Then we have T8 hardware all the way around. I love to see that. Oh yeah, and the carbon fiber is really, really nice. Look at this carbon fiber. It has, since it's contoured, it actually has like a, um, a side cut section to it. See that? That looks really nice. I love that where you can see the gray fibers running down it. That is just gorgeous to me. Now, the action on this knife, before we get into the cutting and everything else, the action is really good. And I want to say I do have a couple complaints um, that I think could have been easily dealt with, but we'll get to that in a minute. So the action, you have this nail neck, which you could easily just two-hand it, right? You could easily two-hand it, but it is so easy to reverse flick. I mean, it is incredibly easy. You could technically thumb flick it. That's how easy it is. Um, way easier to reverse flick, but the detent is extremely well tuned for the reverse flick. You can actually hear the detent when it closes. And even though it is a lighter detent it is not a strong detent it is a light detent but it has to be because you're reverse flicking off of the nail neck now just because it's light it won't pop out i mean it's not like that then also it needs a lighter detent for the top flipping action so in my opinion they tune this very very well so the reverse flick is very easy then you have this top flip which is very, very easy. And one of my favorite ways is just to use it like a flipper and drag your finger back. It's very easy to do that with this knife. You just let your finger or your skin catch the jimping and pull back and it works very, very well. Or you just do the normal top flip. Very, very snappy. I mean, this thing is incredibly easy to fidget with. It's enjoyable to fidget with. And it's very snappy. Very, very snappy. And it has a nice sound to it. It probably won't come out because I want it to, but... It has a nice little ching to it when I open it, you know, certain times. But if you look into the back spacer, you can see how it's like... Uh, you can see like the cross cut section down in there. It looks really cool with the, the, the stripes, these gold stripes. Um, I do think that looks really cool. I, and when you tilt it back and forth, you can actually see it kind of shining in certain light. It just looks really good. Now, 
it is riding on ceramic caged bearings, ceramic detent, you know, the good stuff. So it is very, very smooth, but it is an incredibly thin blade and it does have an internal stop pin. By the way, internal stop pin, so the lockup is very solid. But even though it is on ceramic caged bearings, it is ultra smooth, but it's just too light of a blade to be like fall shut action. But you don't really expect that from this kind of knife. It's still incredibly easy to just slap it shut. So now the Ergos, it is nice and comfortable in the hand. I don't even feel the clip much, and I think it's because it turns right here. And since it turns right there in my hand, the clip, I mean, I feel it, but it's not a hot spot at all. It just winds up putting the clip right in like the pad of my hand very comfortably. And it's a nice thickness while still being small. I can get a complete four finger grip on it. The spine, no jimping, nice and smooth, nice and soft. And it is nice and comfortable. You, you feel like you can get really good leverage in it for a small knife. Now, mind you, for a small knife. Not for a hard use knife, but for this kind of knife. Which is kind of like a modern gent knife. Or a modern traditional knife. Let's put it that way. Modern traditional. Now, we have this beautiful clip point blade. Super thin hollow grind. I mean, this thing is very very deep very very thin micro thin um super slicer the blade shape is you know um a clip point buoy style blade shape which is kind of a um a, a, a traditional um style blade shape while also being extremely useful now the tip on this is very very fine so it's not something you're going to want to pry with or do you could pick with it but you want to be very careful with that tip it is more of a lighter duty finer task kind of um grind not even just blade shape but the grind because it's such a thin thinly ground hollow grind the satin looks really good on it too if I can get it to come up. So slicing with this thing, because it's so, so thin behind the edge, it slices like a beast. It is such a good cutter. Ten thousandths behind the edge I measured mine. Ten thousandths. And that makes it, you know, even if it's dull, it cuts good because it's so thin behind the edge. So passing through anything, it passes through like a dream. It is a great, great slicer. Um, and be, because it's a hollow grind, that same thinness runs, you know, quite a bit up the blade. So it's going to stay the same thickness even if you put multiple edges on it. It's, it's not going to get thicker, at least for a very long time. And even through denser cardboard, um, it, it was still incredibly slicey. and still worked incredibly well. Now, it's not a big knife, so you're not going to get big knife ergos you know or big knife leverage but because of how thin it is behind the edge it passes through materials very very nicely now with utility cuts even though it is a clip point um kind of a clip point buoy style blade shape you can easily because it's not a big knife if it was big it'd be different but since it's a small knife you can easily get to that tip for utility cuts so Utility cuts are amazing with it. And the tip is so fine that you almost have to be careful because it will go through anything. You might not mean to go through something, you know, as deep as uh, it might go because it, it, the utility cuts are amazing. It does incredible utility cuts and it's incredibly slicey. Now, you do have to worry about the tip, though. You don't want to chip it or break it. So you do want to be careful, you know, like I said, not to pry or twist or do anything like that, but incredibly pokey. And yeah, it, it's incredible. So now next thing. Oh, I forgot to talk about the liner. Um, so with the action, I forgot to mention the liner, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, so the clip, the clip and carry it's inset, not reversible. I'm sorry, lefties, but it is inset and it works very, very well. I've actually been carrying it 
um, like this. I have carried it in my pocket too, but I've been carrying it in my real man, real leather. Um, there's lots of different versions of this, but you can see it sits really nicely. It's not all the way in, but it's in enough to where I'm not worried about it. And it has a good amount of tension to it. So since it has that good amount of tension on it, I don't worry about it falling out. So the, the clip and carry is really, really nice. The clip works really good and it sits ultra deep. So yeah, great, great clip, great carry. I mean, you forget you have it. Now let's get into some negative things uh, because that will go back to what I was talking about with the liner. We'll start off with that. And I might possibly just fix it in this video. I might, might not. We'll see. But I haven't decided yet. But they put access from the opposite, from like, because the liner lock is right here. And the lockup is very solid from all directions. No problem with that. But then they cut out access to the opposite side so you could get to the liner. But then didn't cut out the carbon fiber micarta. You could see how they left it there. Now, I don't know why they didn't just cut that little tiny piece out. That's so easy. So that's why I'm going to do it. I'm definitely going to cut that out because once I cut that out, the access will be so much better. Now, is it bad? No, it's not horrible, but it's also not great. Can I get to it? Yes, I can get to it, but it's tight. Um, this isn't a false shut action because it's so light. The blade is incredibly light. Now I can just do a little slap if I want to. And the detent is nice and early. You can push past it or you can let it drop and then slap it shut. But it, it is a little bit tight in there. It's kind of difficult to get to. So um, I just, I don't know why they missed the ball on that and didn't just cut it out. Like maybe they thought it would make this side not look as good. But I argue that that would make it look even better. I love seeing a little cutout right there. That just reinsures me that it's going to close um, easily. Now, now another little thing is on my micarta, it's a little rough around the edges. Like you see how, where they cut it at right here. It's like, this looks clean or cleaner down here. But then when we move up here, it looks all messed up. Like, I don't know. Um, not that big of a deal. I could probably fix that with some sandpaper. Um, but, you know, it just is what it is. You can see it's kind of chewed up a little bit right there. But that's the only real spot I think it's, like, really chewed up. You do have a lanyard pin back here. Um, these little spots back here look pretty cool. You know, you can really see the actual cross-cut section right there. I'd love to see the carbon fiber, or sorry, micarta like that. But it's probably hard to get it to be a whole slab like that. Now, next thing. So, the next thing is the jimping. Oh, this, this kills me because it, this is a little bit more difficult for me to fix. So, if you look at the jimping... Beautiful jimping riding all the way. Let me grab another knife. We'll use the little Civivi baby banter to po point this out. But you'll see the jimping is really nice right here, right here, all the way up. And then right when we get to the top where I want the jimping the most. Look at how they didn't cut it all the way in. You see it, but it's like barely. Sorry, the focus isn't working. It's barely cut in. This one's almost non-existent. This one's very light. Like if I run the knife over it, you'll hear like down here, up here, it's so much softer. So it makes it where it's slippery up there. It's not as, you know, it's not as enjoyable to flick. Now, can I fix it? Kind of. So I can get my cutting bit and I can cut like one good jimping. I can't make it that thin because that's like wire EDM to make this, you know, to get the, this type of jimping. So I'd have to get my little cutting wheel and just 
barely cut out one, maybe two, but most likely just one notch. And I'd probably do it right there because it's going to be bigger and thicker than these. So then I'm going to, I'm going to have one ugly jimping there compared to the other ones. Maybe not ugly, but it's not going to look, it's not going to match perfectly. But other than those two things, this knife is incredible. Um, even the sharpening choil, I mean, I could complain about it a little bit. But the plunge grind is backed up. You see it starts right here at the thickest point, and then it drops down to about right there. So they did leave a little bit. They did leave a few sharpenings. Now, one of the beauties of this, because it's so thin behind the edge, it is going to be so easy to sharpen. Now, another thing about the steel, and this is kind of a negative thing, is that the edge did not last long. Maybe it was a burnt edge. Whatever. Not a big deal. I'm not even worried about that. But you know what it did do? Because it's so thin behind the edge, it honed and stropped back like that. Like nothing. I mean, literally. I probably didn't even need to hone it. I probably could have just stropped it. Because I hit it one, one swipe on the my, my honing rod on one side, one swipe on the other side, hit it on the strop, and it came back stupid sharp. Um, I mean, incredibly sharp, and it's still the factory edge because it's so thin. Now, sharpening this, it will be so fast, um, especially if I leave the same angle that's on there, which they don't have a bad angle on here. Um, I'm okay with it. But even if I drop the angle back a little bit, you know, say to 17 degrees, this is probably more like 20 degrees. But let's say I do, it might be even lower than that, actually. I'm not positive what their angle is on this particular knife, but let's say I drop it back. It'll still be incredibly fast because it's so thin behind the edge. I'll be able to sharpen this like so fast. So lots of great things here. Now, if you like the size knife of like the Elementum, because the Elementum and this knife are very similar in size, as you can see, then you will most likely love this because it's one, it's a little slicier. The Ergos are... Mm. they're both good they're both good they're just different this one's a little taller this one's a little shorter but it, i think it's a little it might be a little bit wider yeah just a little bit it's a little bit wider not by not by much though um but yeah if you like this size of knife the the Civivi elementum then you will love this size knife and I really like it. I really, really like it. But yeah, there you guys go. I think it's an amazing knife. Um, I think even the value is here uh, for the cost and for the price. Um, I'll do my best to link what I can down in the description for you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I love you guys. Peace.